Okay, we're back working on the old Ford Denali, as someone put it, but if I enunciate correctly, it's 2004. So we're having a problem, my son drives it now, and we're having a problem with service brake system and very low pedal and poor braking. Um, what I figured out is I did not know that this style of truck had uh, this this vacuum actuator, which is a 12 volt electrical motor that is a vacuum brake boost because I see that it has the hydro boost back here, which is tough to see, but that essentially takes the place of the old fashioned uh, diaphragm that is the, the brake booster that runs off the vacuum of the engine. So I'm not quite sure because I have uh, a Duramax and an HD that have that without this. And uh, maybe I could just swap it out and wouldn't have to go through all this, but I'm actually short on time and it's a little unsafe. So what I figured out is I downloaded, or not downloaded, but I looked at the schematics. So you have, uh, this is the motor and it shows that it goes from that 15 amp fuse SBA supplemental brake assist. Uh, and it also goes up into the instrument cluster, which I believe might be the entire problem here because I do have uh, a battery drain when when left off and a brand new battery will be dead in a week if nobody drives it. But I don't have time to send that in and get it refurbished or all of the wires are intact all of the fuses are good to get power but i'm only getting uh limited power down which would be like either your logic or your five volt down to the, the motor itself and trying to run it down like i said i'm running out of time i don't have a lot of time to work on this so what i actually did is if you go in here Grab the light. Put it right. If you go in the cab, is I took. I should. I guess I should back up. Is it's service brake system comes on, and then the pedal will go almost immediately to the floor with with really horrible braking. So what I did is I hooked into. Um, which is hard to get up there, but that top connector above that relay there that you can see the, the red and the blue, um, that actually is, I put a pigtail in, that's for a trailer brake connector. So that would run back to control if you had a brake on a larger trailer, a heavier trailer than... Uh, whether it be a travel trailer or, or whatever that has electronic brakes or electric brakes on it. What I did with that was I tested the motor and the motor would still run, the motor was still good. I ended up running the pigtails up for that and I found the diagram that has uh, this is the trailer brake wires which I'm not using these two I'm only using the light blue which is uh, I can't get this thing to focus right the light blue which is uh, the signal so when you depress on the brake pedal just like the brake pedal switch that takes the lights on to the rear of the vehicle that all of a sudden gets power when the brake pedal is depressed. So I ran that through a simple relay, uh, which in turn, go press the brake pedal, this gets 12 volts or current, and then it runs through that and out the ground that goes back into the chassis, or the, the pigtail that goes back into the chassis. And then what that does is that activates the relay and gives you power to this side. Uh, excuse me. What it does is it generates power between the two red leads. 
So without the brake pedal de depressed, this has 12 volt power, which is fused and looks to be about a 12, 10 gauge wire. It's fairly stout. So you depress the brake pedal, power runs through the relay and then activates this side of the relay. So then I have 12 volt fused power that I in turn ran down into unhooked this X, this motor, this boost motor. And I just uh, pigtailed it in there for now to make sure everything works. And then I ended up grounding it good too, because I don't know how good the ground was getting. So in essence, what you're doing with this is this is a circuit protected relay that you can use and find the fuse for the trailer brakes on your uh, fuse block. And the relay keeps it so you don't have to run a uh, you can run that max amount of power, which however many amp this, it was 15 amp, but it's it's a fairly big wire and that motor creates a lot of heat. So you can't just connect uh, your signal wire in there or you'll melt it out and blow the fuse. So essentially what you're doing is the car, the truck believes that it's controlling a trailer with electric brakes on it. So when it sends power to this side, it actually, instead of the brake controller, it's sending it to this motor, which powers this motor, which creates the vacuum, which pulls on here. Uh, almost in instantaneous from when you push the switch. I know it's gonna be a little bit goofy, but uh, we'll take it for a spin here. Uh, it's it's as safe as having trailer brakes on your, on your rig, and you can hear, it'll sound a little funny when I hit the brake. You can get it. Be a little froth in the system for me testing but uh, I do believe that that might take care of the leaking because when you push the brake this is supposed to create vacuum but it's just kind of in limbo there I don't know like I said it's not the proper way to fix and the, the gauges are still gonna ding for the first 15 seconds but uh, it'll work as far as safety goes. So uh, if anybody has any other ideas or can tell me why uh, it's not a good idea, please leave a comment below. Thank you.